The cost of living is too high in South Africa, so I've decided to move away from reviewing expensive cars because most people won't be able to afford them. The situation is bad shame. Maraita Kini. Welcome to another video. The Renault Clio aims to give the VW Polo some tough competition. Does the car achieve this goal? Let's check it out. The Clio has three trim levels. The entry level life, the zen, and the intense. The life costs 309,999 rands, while the zen costs 324,999 rands. The range topping intense starts from around 364,999 rands. The Intense is about 10,000 rands cheaper than the Polo Life Manual. Is the Renault Clio worth it too? Before we continue with the video, if you love this kind of content, then don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. With that being said, let's start with the performance. All models of the Clio get a 1 liter turbocharged engine that produces 74 kilowatts and 160 newton meters. This engine is mated to a 5-speed manual. You cannot get 6 gears or an automatic in the Clio, which is a bit of a disappointment. Maraitakini! The fuel consumption of the car comes in at 5.7 liters per 100 kilometers and the car has the same top speed as the Polo Life manual which is 187 kilometers per hour. Performance wise, the Clio is similar to the Polo Life manual. Moving on to the looks, the front end design of this car looks aggressive and the car gets fang like LED daytime running lights on all models. The Life is the only model which does not get front fog lights and front parking sensors are optional only on the Intense. I love the front end design of this car. Moving on to the side, the design is boring and conservative. You get 16 inch wheels with alloy imitation covers in the Life and Zen and 16 inch alloy wheels in the Intense with an option to upgrade this to 17 inch alloy wheels. The door handles are only body colored in the Zen and Intense and the Intense gets gloss black mirror caps. At the back, the design is simple and in general, I don't think it looks good or bad. Rear parking sensors are standard on all models and a reverse cam is only optional on the Intense. The boot space of the car comes in at 391 liters. It's time manufacturers tell us how this litre thing works cause some boots are coated in big litre numbers but are not usable. Maraitaki. Let's now move on to the interior. The design of the interior is simple but it looks good for a car at this price point. As standard, the car gets a 7 inch infotainment system that has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. There's an option to upgrade to a 9.3 inch screen in the Intense and it does make the interior feel premium. All models get cruise control as standard and only the Intense gets wireless charging and an armrest. The Life and Zen gets manual air conditioning while the Intense gets climate control. The Intense also gets automatic rain sensing wipers, which the other models don't get. All models get a multifunction steering wheel, and the Life and Zen only gets electric windows at the front. The Intense on the other hand gets electric windows for all four windows. The Intense gets premium features such as lane departure alert, ambient lighting, an electric handbrake, killer's entry and start, and a 7-inch digital cockpit, which the other two models don't get. 
the life and zen get traditional analog dials. The Renault Neo gets a 5 year 150,000 kilometers warranty and a 2 year 30,000 kilometers service plan. The Renault Clio offers a great alternative for people who are looking at the Polo and the Hyundai i20. If you have the extra money, I think buying the Intense with the upgraded rims and screen is worth it cause it looks way better and feels more premium. I will therefore move on to the cost of ownership for the Clio Intense. If you finance a 364,999 rents car at the current prime lending rate of 10.75% over 72 months with no deposit and no balloon payment, then you'll pay a monthly installment of around 6,901 rents. For comprehensive car insurance, you can expect to pay around 1,800 rands depending on your risk profile. If you spend 1,500 on fuel, then this takes your total cost of ownership to around 10,201 rands each and every month. In conclusion, if a car is going head to head with the VW Polo, then it better be good. I think that Leo has managed to achieve this if you are looking for something different. South Africans are still going to buy the Polo more cause VW's brand loyalty is huge in Mzanzi. People don't make rational choices when it comes to VW. But hey, Maraita Thank you for watching.